Hi friends, today we are going to talk about one important factor is payment terms. So the payment terms is generally calculated based on the baseline date. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If I go here FB60, okay, and suppose I go here and I put a vendor number and I put an invoice date, okay, and I'll put a reference number and suppose I put just an amount okay and here if I go into the payment tab okay here you can see uh, this is the baseline date that is coming okay so the baseline date comes from the document date okay the invoice date okay now here based on the payment terms it changes now at some point of time suppose you want a case where the suppose here I'll put this is the baseline date okay so if i put this baseline date this payment term you see the baseline date changes so how it changes okay so suppose if i make this to suppose 0002 it will flip back the baseline date you see so how these are all changing so in order to change this there's a configuration that you have to do so this gets uh, configured with the point of creating the payment terms so the transaction is obb8 okay and here by default if i go here the payment terms is always set as documented but in cases suppose the requirement is for those payment terms that you, it should be based on the uh, posting date then the baseline date will become posted date or entry date or no default so you can set this up so this is very very useful in um, in in getting these details so this is very handy so based on this you can de define what is this is pay immediately without deduction and all those things so this is very very important in the accounts payable world